What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today I have an insane, when I say insane, I mean insane video for you guys. Mark Rubin dropped an absolute bomb on the X-Define community on a potential, you know, feature that might be introduced in the future of X-Define's, you know, lifespan here, which would, like I said, absolutely change everything for everyone and will make the experience 10 trillion times better but ladies and gentlemen before we go ahead and dive deep if you guys are interested in more content just like this don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell post daily here at 8 in the morning eastern time and of course if you guys are interested in any of my live streams remember i'm not going to be here until saturday so i'm actually going to be you know away wednesday thursday Friday, and I'm also not going to be active in the comments section either. You know, I always try to be active in the comments because I love interacting with this community. You guys are all goaded, but again, I'm just going to take a little bit of a social media break just for a few days here, and we'll be back on Saturday and Sunday. Of course, if you guys want to check out those live streams when we do return, you guys can find a link to my Twitch channel down in the description of this video. Now, man, because I, I am leaving on Wednesday, and it's rough right now because apparently, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be, obviously, the update dropping today for X Defiant that is also more than likely going to include the spider bot fix and I'm extremely curious to see how this is going to turn out I don't think it's going to be anything insane though ladies and gentlemen I'm going to be real with you guys I think it's just going to be you know the reintroduction of being able to shoot it while you look down at the ground so on and so forth just you know it, 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 honestly nothing wrong with that but I don't know how big the update's going to be I don't know if they're going to resolve any other issues what bugs are going to be addressed and if I have enough time before I leave on Wednesday, I will try. I promise you, I will try to cook up a video if I have enough time before I have to go ahead and do the dash. But no promises here. I might I might miss out on a really big update, just so you guys know. So if you don't see any video about that in the next couple of days, you're like, well, JB, what's going on? You know, you're, you're not on top of anything. It's because I'm not here at the moment. So just keep that in mind. I'll try to get it out for you guys for this update because it does sound interesting. But if I can't. I can't. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said earlier, today's video is about a little something different, not about the Spider-Bot update, but a future update that we might see with the NX Defined that's going to be absolutely huge. Now, guys, one of the biggest issues right now is obviously a lot of people are having trouble with connection. You know what I'm saying? It's rough. And also, the queuing time is a bit wonky right now. I mean, when the game first dropped, I was able to hop into experiences instantly, and now it's taking quite a bit of time to go ahead and cycle through and at first I thought it was because you know obviously uh, the game might be losing more players but it just didn't make that much sense to me it, it really didn't and of course Mark Rubin came out the other day putting out a post where he also like I said talked about that it's going to be an update for you know the game today but this was the main post here Hey all, we made a server change last night that may reduce the number of times you matchmake with a region that, that is not the one you are in. Let me know if you are still getting in games that are in different region than your own. And if you do get a region that is not yours, let me know how long the matchmaking took. So apparently the biggest reason or the biggest cause to why it's taking so long to get into these matches within X Defined is it's more than likely you know matchmaking you with people from different regions and it's extending the search times when it realistically shouldn't and that's not how the matchmaking system is supposed to work for anybody who doesn't know the matchmaking system prioritizes you know obviously your connection your input that you're on whether you're using a mouse and keyboard or controller and how many people are in your party i know there's a few other things sprinkled in there but you know if you guys are curious you could just look it up man because they already gave us all the details on how the matchmaking system works within this game like i said it searches for ping and then once it gets everybody in the lobby it goes goes off of your skill rating and then it balances the teams accordingly so that's that's pretty much how the system works but it's a bit jank right now it's not working correctly so they're trying to fine-tune it a bit more of course again if you guys hopped into the experience today let me know down in the comment section if you're finding games a little bit easier and of course if they're good ping if you're getting better connection uh, so on so forth but a little bit under this post was a fantastic response, which again, I didn't I didn't really think Mark Rubin was going to go ahead and respond to this individual, but man, it, it, it's just beautiful to see. This post was put together by Reese Hendricks saying, when are we getting a server select option so we could choose which server we want to play in whenever we want? That would also fix this issue. And Mark Rubin responds saying, that is something we are looking at. No ETA at this time to know if, when we would add that. So obviously, you know, we don't have an exact time, date, or anything of that sort on when this will be introduced into X Defined. But what matters is that it's being talked about. 
You know, and th again, this is why I freaking love the X Define team so much. I get roasted all the time for appreciating this stuff, but I can't lie. It feels good to know what's going on behind the scenes. It feels good to be in the loop with the game. And if they don't introduce something, it's nice to know why. When they do introduce things, it's great to know why again. It's just, it's such a fresh breath of air. But again, we don't know the exact date on when this feature will come or if it will come, you know, anytime soon. But, but this would be huge absolutely huge this is something that i feel like a lot of games have been you know not games but a lot of communities within games have been wanting for ages now across the board because a lot of the time again you have to rely on the matchmaking system to do the work for you and a lot of these games you don't get to pick a server it's one of the main reasons why a lot of people love the server browser within battlefield and why so many people were pissed off when the idiotic behavior of ea dice decided to strip it from the game i don't know what I'm sorry, I'm getting worked up, but seriously, it was the most idiotic thing. I was going to say, I don't know what idiot decided to do that. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be mean, but seriously, you can't tell me that that wasn't the stupidest thing, the stupidest thing you ever witnessed in your whole life. I, I, I couldn't fathom it, but obviously because they removed the server browser, we got stuck with a bunch of, you know, crappy connections and it was hard. You had to lobby surf a bunch of times. You get some games where you're skyrocketing up to 100 plus ping. It's a nightmare. And that's what the server browser resolves. First and foremost, it does resolve the map rotation. So you don't have to deal with, you know, playing on the same map every five seconds. That was another nightmare within Battlefield 2042. Jesus Christ. That was so freaking bad. I God, again, what idiot decided to remove the server browser from a Battlefield game? Oh, God, I'm sorry. It just OK, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm not going to ramble about it. It just blows my mind every time I think about it. But not only for the map rotation, but again, for connection. Some of my favorite reasons why I love hopping on Battlefield 4 or even like Battlefield 1, you know, Battlefield 5. All those Battlefield games had server browsers. Any of them. The best reason is that I could pinpoint the lobby I want to play. I can find the best connection I could possibly get. And that is the most crucial aspect of gaming, in my personal opinion. Having good connection. Honestly, a lot of the time I see people getting shot around the wall or bad hit reg. I really do think it gets chalked up to connection as well. I feel like connection plays a huge role in this. And I've seen many people in my comment section saying that, you know, they have two places where they play the game. In one place, you know, the, the internet isn't as great and they run into way more netcode problems. But then they go back home on their, you know, their home station. And then, you know, it works perfectly. It, they have no problems whatsoever. And that's what I run into. You know what I'm saying? You guys can go watch all my streams. I have every single VOD of mine up. And I literally basically only play the games when I'm streaming to you guys and hanging out with the uh, the squad. So, you know, that's usually why I'm on. And so you can see all my gameplay, all of it, all the hours that I put into that game. And you can see that literally I just I simply don't run into these issues. And a lot of people on Xbox don't run into the issues. A lot of people on PlayStation don't run into the issues. But still, at the same time, there are people who do run into these issues. There's it's still a problem, right? I feel like connection does play a big role in this. And if they were to introduce a feature like this, that would resolve so many people's problems, right? A, a lot of the issues that we have right now would probably still be present, but they would happen way less frequently, right? Like this would be huge, huge for the future of X Define. And I hope that these developers really drive this one home. I hope this becomes a feature that is introduced into X Define way sooner then later, because this would help out so many players out there. I mean, seriously, think of every other game that, that I could possibly think of. This is a dream come true. Being able to lock your region and get the best ping that you could possibly get. I wish I could do this in every shooter that I could possibly think of. The majority of the time, the, the only time you could do this is if the game has a server browser. That's the only time you're able to have this type of freedom, which sucks. So over half of the games, half of the FPS games that we play nowadays, you're just stuck with what the matchmaking gives you. And trust me, the matchmaking isn't always so lenient. And this is coming from a Call of Duty guy, myself. Trust me, we're always placed across the globe. This isn't anything different. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why it does it. I don't know if the matchmaking just fumbles sometimes and it, it just doesn't know what it's doing. It definitely has to player count in Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? I know we always say the, the player count keeps falling and the game is dying, but it definitely has players. It definitely has players. So I, I don't know why it does it, but it happens. This is a feature that I want to see across the board implemented everywhere. And I really hope that X-Define can start this trend. Also with how I hope they can start many other trends. That's really what I look at X-Define for. I know it's in a rough spot right now, ladies and gentlemen. I know, trust me. I've seen a lot of you guys running into issues, but if this game is really planned to go on for years and years and years, it has so much time to polish itself off 
fill up the game with content that over the course of time, it could become a really solid title. And I'm hoping that it could just really implement these trends. You know what I'm saying? Like the double XP tokens only counting down in game. Or again, being able to region lock so you can have the best ping possible. Or, you know, when it comes to no skill based matchmaking, all of these things, I hope this game can really find its spot where it can be very successful and it can polish itself off. People can hop back into the experience. It will be smooth for everybody and it can really start, you know, setting these waves because I want to see other games pick this stuff up. I really do. I feel like absolutely every community out there will be way happier if all of these things that I just mentioned were introduced and they were effective, right? I, I don't know. But again, guys. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And of course, if you want to check out any of my live streams, I won't be live at today. And at the same time, I won't be active in the YouTube chat today either, guys. Don't forget, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I won't be here. Don't think I'm ignoring you guys. I'm not. Just taking a little bit of a break. And we'll be back Saturday, grinding harder than ever, back in the comments. And also, hitting up the live streams over on Twitch. But of course, if you guys do want to check out that stream when I do come back, I have a link to my Twitch channel down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.